Good evening, everybody. I'm about to show y'all my Christmas book haul. I'm so excited. I finally, finally got to go to Ollie's. Also, I got a new broom from there because my other broom broke in half. We are really, I'm telling you, we are rough on some brooms in this house. But look, this one has this little handle, like not handle, but little cushion thing right here where you hold it. Hopefully, that'll keep it from breaking because that's where they always break. Right there where the pressure is. Yes. Jake was trying on Titus's little thing for his back. He got it from Ollie's too. Anyway, here are the books. I'm very excited, y'all. I checked the prices on these, and when it says their price, it is pretty accurate. So I went on to Barnes & Noble's website. This Curious George book, Curious George, sounds like Christmas. It has all the little things that you mash over here, you know, when you're reading it, the bells. I knew Manly would love this one because y'all know he loves some Curious George. So... At Ollie's, it was only $3.99, and it says their price, $12.99. I checked on Barnes & Noble's website, for real, y'all. I think it was $12.99, or maybe it was even $14.99 for this exact same Curious George book. This is why I love Ollie's. <laughs> So I got that one. I also got the Nutcracker. And so, yeah, I mean, I'm assuming now that all of their, their price stuff is probably right. Their price on this one would have been $7.99. It was only $2.99. So all of these books that I got here, even this little box of books, was just a little over $20. And I searched for this online to try to see what price it was at some other place, but I couldn't find it anywhere. But it says their price, $47.92. Our price, $6.99. <laughs> I mean, it was accurate on all of these other ones that I checked. I checked the Curious George one. I checked this one, The Christmas Show. And it was, so it says their price, $7.99, our price, $1.99. The one I found for this one was actually, I think, $11 or $12.99 for this book. So, The Brave Little Camper Saves Christmas, it was right. Their price was $7.99, and at Ollie's, it was only $2.99. So, yeah, at Ollie's, all of this was only a little over $20.00. But if the their price thing is right on all of these, I couldn't find some of them, then this would have been like $100 worth of books. That is crazy that at Ollie's it was only a little over $20. I think it was somewhere around $25 for just for the books. Titus got a few other things, but just for the books would have been around $25. So I got this one, Christmas Story, Ready, Set, Find. You find the little hidden, is it hidden pictures or just, they're just in there. I think they're not really trying to hide, but you have to find them. <laughs> they love these little things where you find stuff, these little highlights, board books. Uh, Joan and Oliver still love these, where you have to find the bell. There it is, I already see it. It's one of her ponytails, pigtails, anyway. And then it has gingerbread cookies, a little recipe and everything for gingerbread cookies. Then over here we have a maze. These are always fun little books. I would have gotten two of them, but they only had one of those. They had several copies of all the other books, but I've always wanted to do the thing where you wrap up the Christmas books and put them under the tree, and then every night up until Christmas, the kids get to open a new book to read before bedtime. So I was trying to think in the store, how many do I need up until Christmas? I think it's 18, 17 or 18 days until Christmas now. Anyway, I already have some Christmas books here, so I just got, you know, the ones that I thought I would need up until then, because a new one would be fun, but they don't remember all of their Christmas books from last year. So most of them will be a new Christmas book every night and then I still have a few here because this was pretty much all the Christmas books they had there there were maybe three or four other ones but these are the ones that I got so I got a Christmas Carol Brave Little Camper Saves Christmas the Christmas show the Nutcracker and then I got this one is another this one's kind of uh, it has you know the Christmas story in it but it's also one where you find different stuff but it does have the Christmas story in it. So I am going to put it with the Christmas books. Now this highlights, this one, you know, it's, it doesn't really have a story. So they can go ahead and just have it now to um, do all the little activities in there. Then I got the Curious George one. I know that's going to be Manly's favorite. And then I got this set right here that has, let's see, eight different ones in it. Little Blue Trucks Christmas. Merry Christmas, Ollie. The Quiet Christmas book. I mean, I'm sorry, the Christmas Quiet book. Where Oh Where is Santa Claus? Was the night before Christmas, Merry Christmas, Curious George, Tacky's Christmas, and Christmas Mice. So I'll just open this one up and then we'll have these different ones. I don't know how, like, let's see what these books look like. Okay, so here are all the books that were in the box. So what I'm going to do, instead of wrapping all of these, I'm just going to use this box. This is going to be like our Christmas book box, and I'll just put a new book in it every day, and then at nighttime, before the kids go to bed, they get to open it up and see 
what their book is for that night. And then they can just, you know, take turns reading the books themselves. But we'll have Christmas story time every night where I'll read to them. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm trying to think, though. I might actually just keep the books in this box because I did have this, too. I have this still left over from last year, um, a few gift boxes. I'm thinking I might put the book inside of here that they can, you know, their new one every time. And I'll just keep them all in this box for now so that I have them all just in one place. I'm thinking that's what I'll do instead because some of the bigger ones anyway, like this one and the Nutcracker, um, they won't fit in there with the top going on anyway. So that's what I'm thinking I'm gonna do. So which one do we wanna put in here for tonight? We'll put this in here. Any mini, mighty mo, catch a tiger by the toe. We'll do the Nutcracker tonight. Okay, there we go. So this one, can go over under the tree and then tonight they'll get to open it and we'll have Christmas story time. I'm excited. I'm also excited about the good deals on these books. <laughs> this is not from uh, Ollie's, it's from Tractor Supply. We got that bear one from Tractor Supply too. I can't remember if I ever told y'all where that bear puzzle was from. Yeah, I did, yeah, I did. Anyway, I got this for Jacob and Tyler to do. So this is a bigger puzzle. It's a 550 piece, so it's the little pieces and I knew that they would like to put this together. They're wanting to put a puzzle together. They have a deer one, and so they're wanting to put them together and then hang them up on their wall, you know, do the little deal where you can put them up on your wall. So that's what they're wanting to do. I think Tyler wants this one and Jacob wants the one with the deer. So this one's gonna be shaped like him. They really like these because they're shaped like the, you know, pick like they're not just a square shape. They're shaped like the animal. Okay, so I'm gonna put the rest of the books in here and then it's time to cook supper. For supper tonight, we're having sloppy joes, but they are gonna be fun. Christmassy sloppy joes, don't worry. They are not gonna be green. <laughs> they are not gonna be green, but they are gonna be fun. So we have the ground beef, and I always just do the Pioneer Woman's sloppy joes. Y'all know that that's our favorite recipe for sloppy joes. Santa cookies on them? Mm hmm Hmm. They're gonna be reindeer sloppy joes. Oh. But the recipe is still the same, so don't worry. Nothing, nothing wild with the recipe. Let me help you get it going, Sissy. It's still yeah, just a little. Yeah, it's a little frozen on some of the pieces still. I defrosted it in the microwave real quick. Are you gonna, are you gonna have enough ketchup? Yeah, I got a new one back there. So normally green bell pepper also goes in the sloppy joe recipe, but I'm out. So we just have onion this time. I don't like green bell pepper. Oh, so you're happy about it? Uh -huh. Okay. You never told me you don't like green bell pepper. Well, I don't. Oh. Learn something new every day. So while the ground beef's getting started, I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of the stuff out that we'll need. In that cabinet behind you, we need the eyeballs. We just need the eyeballs and the little black buttons made of coal, but they're gonna be reindeer noses. And we need the pretzels. I thought we had some plain potato chips that we could have with our sloppy joes, but apparently those are all gone. <laughs> They have been eaten, so we're just gonna have these pretzels with the sloppy joes, and I also have some of these really cute Christmas crackers. These are the townhouse holiday dippers. They are adorable. I'm probably gonna have a salad with my sloppy joe and some of these little crackers on the side. <laughs> in the world. <laughs> that ketchup just went everywhere, y'all. I had it upside down. And you know how if you have it like that for a little bit and it's been in the refrigerator, it's gonna explode. That's what happened. Here's how we turn our sloppy joes into Christmas. First, we take a pretzel and break it in half. Put these in the back back here. 
Okay, Cece, we've got the antlers on there. You see that? Yeah, um, I want to do something at the end of Okay. So for the eyeballs, you could, of course, use some type of white cheese and a black olive. I don't have that, but I do have these little candy eyeballs. So you're probably, you know, save those for dessert, but they're still going to look cute. You think it's too far from the antlers yet? Yeah, it probably is. Let's scoot it back a little bit. I'm using a little bit of cream cheese to put the eyeballs and the nose on. Is that better, Cece? Uh-huh. Okay, now the nose. Oh, is that cute? All right, Cece said she's got something she wants to do. Cece wanted them to be eating a carrot. That is so cute. Jake, wait, you didn't turn yours into a reindeer. I didn't, uh, <laughs> I don't know what it's okay. <laughs> Jacob doesn't want a reindeer one, and Tyler just wants the Sloppy Joe mix. And we found Thanksgiving paper plates that we didn't use, so we're using those. Mm-hmm, that's yummy. Y'all, Manly saw me blowing on his food to make sure it was cooled down, and now he blows on it. Watch, go like this, go. Is that yummy? <laughs> this is the story of the Nutcracker. It is a story of romance, adventure, battles, love, and dancing. Lots of dancing. Good night, see y'all tomorrow.